I can buy an engine, I can't buy another person. As humans, everyone makes mistakes, no one is perfect, and I am no exception. There have been mistakes made in the shop that are very costly, and I know of some mistakes working as a mechanic that will blow your mind. Let's start off with mistake number one. We had a customer come with a Subaru Forester, it was like a 2018. All he wanted was fluid flushes. He just wanted all the fluids changed, differentials, transmission, engine, everything taken care of. And I had a mechanic hired, he was, he was probably a six month or one year mechanic, and I figured he should be able to handle the flushes, it should be fine. He drained all the fluids like he's supposed to. This car only had 20,000 miles on it, 25, it was almost like new. He got the services done, I said, okay, go ahead and go road test it, make sure everything's good, and come back. And he came back, and it was grinding like, like rocks in, in a can or something. I was like, what in the world happened here? This was a perfectly running car with only 20 some thousand miles on it. It should not come in sound like that. I said, put it on the lift, let's, let's, let's take a look what happened here. So on Subarus, there's the transaxle, there's a front differential in front of it, and those two are separate in their oil reservoirs, where they hold their oil capacity. They're not combined. And what had happened here is there's two or three fill holes. Some of them they use at the factory only. They're not used anymore. And what he did was he drained the transmission, filled it with gear oil for the differential. He came back and got the transmission fluid. He put it in the same hole he was just in. So now we have gear oil and transmission fluid in the transmission and nothing in the front differential is dry. So he takes it out on the road test. The gear oil completely destroys the clutches, just wipes out the transmission and the front differential with no oil being in it, runs dry and just destroys the bearings. So I called the customer, I said, hey, we've made a drastic mistake here. I'm just gonna be up front with you. There's no candy coating this. We have shelled out your transmission and we shelled out your differential. And he started laughing, ha 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 ha. I said, no, no sir, it's, it's not a laughing matter, it's real. We really have shelled out your transmission and your front differential. We have currently ordered one, a brand new, it's a transaxle unit, it's all one unit, even though they share different oil. I said, I've got one on order. It's a 10,000 mile unit. It will replace the one you have. It'll actually be newer than the one you have. He said, well, how am I supposed to get back and forth to work? I said, well, I can, I can reimburse you your rental car if you want to get a rental car. And of course he rented it the most expensive one he could get. And I really didn't have any ground to fight that after I just wiped out his drivetrain almost. I'll pay for your rental car. We'll put the new transmission in, and we got everything done, and it was happy. The car was happy again, and understandably so, I never saw the customer again. I feel really bad that it happened. It's a really sad story, but hey, stuff happens. The second one is Internet Famous. It is where Tyler Hoover from Hoovy's Garage brought me his Mercedes SLS AMG, also for fluid services. Luckily, nothing was damaged. There was nothing that needed to be replaced. No damage was done, it was caught just in time. But it's a similar situation where there's a hydraulic unit and then there's also transmission fluid. Those two are not one and the same, they're separate. So we did the services and it was filmed and nothing was thought of it at that time. But Ed from VinWiki actually contacted Tyler and said, hey, one of my guys that are working on my S-Class right now watched that video and he saw fluids going into places where they shouldn't. It was switched, it was backwards. We follow the service manual, it indicates hydraulic fluid in a certain number, and also calls the transmission fluid also hydraulic fluid, so it's easy to get that mixed up. And it's not really a certain mechanic or me to blame, it was really both of us to blame in that situation. He actually asked me, is this where this goes? And we looked at the service manual, I said yes, it says hydraulic fluid here, so that's where that goes. We did it, and luckily, from Ed contacting Tyler, we caught it in time. I paid to get it towed to my shop. I got in contact with Ed's mechanic and we clarified that situation and made sure it was correct. And then we flushed it three times. I went through $1,500 in hydraulic fluid and transmission fluid, because it's a special fluid. And I bought it in drums. And I thought to myself, as crazy as this is, 
It's cheaper than a new transaxle and an SLS. And I don't want this to be damaged. It's my fault. It's our fault. It's the shop's fault. We owe it to him to make this right. We drained all the improper fluid out. We filled it up and just let it sit overnight. And let the clutches soak up the proper fluid. Then we drained it again. We filled it back up. Then we went and drove it, road tested it, made sure everything shifted fine. Then we let it set overnight again. And the next day, the third day, we drained it a third time and refilled it a third time with the proper fluid. And by that time, there should be no remnants of the wrong fluid left over. And luckily, it did solve it. There has been zero issues. It shifts perfectly. No damage was done. So luckily, we didn't have to buy a transaxle or transmission assembly for an SLS. And the last really crazy screw-up was actually instigated by Tyler Hoover. He decided to do a video where he was going to drop the engine out of his Porsche 996 Turbo, I think it was, in a race with Junior Mint to drop the engine out of his Toyota Privia van. Junior Mint had been there about six months, I think, and he was a pretty decent mechanic at the time. I, I trusted him he could pull an engine out. But under these circumstances, he was pushed to go fast to see if he could beat Tyler. And he did get the engine unhooked, everything properly. He did that properly. Tyler was still halfway done with his. He still had a ways to go. But Junior Mint had the engine on a jack coming down, and he didn't have it tied properly. And it started to slip like this. And he was holding against the lift with one arm and against the engine in this arm, and he was shaking. And I ran over there, and I had been running a shop long enough that I knew... I can buy a new engine. I don't want this guy hurt. I don't want his arm broken. I don't want him in the hospital. Not only because of the money involved, it would be expensive and a worker's compensation claim, but also I physically just didn't want him to get hurt. And I made a very fast executive decision. I said, drop it. He said, what? He's sitting there shaking. I don't want to drop the engine. I don't want to break it. I said, that's an order. Drop it. And he jumped out of there and it fell off and <laughs> all over the ground. I said, I can buy a new engine. I said, I don't want you hurt. Luckily, all it did was break the valve cover and a couple of sensors. We were able to repair those items and put it back in. No trouble. It was, a, it was going to be a head gasket job, and we got that fixed. I replaced the broken pieces under warranty. The shop paid for those items. But at the moment, it was just really scary. It was like, this guy could literally get killed. After that, I told Tyler, I said, no more, we're not racing anymore. We don't, we don't get in a hurry like that in here. I said, that's when accidents happen, just as you've seen. It wasn't damaging mechanically to the engine. Luckily, it didn't cost very much to fix it, but it could have been very treacherous and very damaging to my employee. So I think I made the right call. I can buy an engine. I can't buy another person. And one final little screw-up that really wasn't anything that I did, but you guys will love to hear this. We were out in the field in a military exercise. We were pulling the engine pack, which is the engine and transmission, on an M1 Abrams, which is a gas turbine engine. It's basically a jet engine and a transaxle. The original engine had had a failure. It was time to put a new one in. They pulled the old one out. And mind you, this is all before, like a week before Christmas vacation. They started picking up the brand new engine out of the box. And they got it up in the air, and they had forgotten to tie off some of the clevis pins or forgot to attach them properly, and the entire thing fell. And just pieces all over the ground. And as scared as we were, or that, that really was a crazy situation. The commander at the time, he pulled us all aside. He said, accidents happen. As you go home to your families to celebrate Christmas, thank them, our fellow taxpayers, because they get to buy us another $2 million engine. Those accidents happen to the best of us, even to the United States military.